to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going on another WWE slash AEW figure toy hunt for you guys. Do apologize, first of all, because I haven't been uploading daily like we usually do here on the channel. And it's been driving me up the wall. As you guys can see behind me a little bit, it's a total wreck in the office. There's a lot of stuff going on. And I just got done recovering from COVID. And I think it's still taking me a little bit to get back into the swing of things post-COVID. So I do want to apologize for that. But today, guys, we are going to be going to a Target and a Walmart, I do believe. I may go to the other Walmart. We'll see about that. We'll play around with that, see how that goes. But I do want to go to Target and Walmart. It's really weird because it's like they either have a lot of stuff or they end up having nothing whatsoever. And my area has kind of been on a hot streak as of late. As you guys saw in the last toy hunt, there was a lot of stuff in the area. There was a lot of stuff packing the shelves, which is very crazy. You know, we don't, we don't usually get that around this area. But it seems like things are trending upward. I don't know if that's everybody's area you guys can let me know down in the comment section below how is your area doing but it seems like my area has been doing a lot better when it comes to toy hunts and figures being at retail and being on the shelves and stuff like that so we'll have to find out about that i would love to find some unmatched series one i would love to find uh, any aew figures i'm always open to find just because of the chase variants and stuff like that you know uh if we find some ultimate additions i'd probably grab an extra ultimate stone cold probably if i found one of those at retail but uh let's go ahead and grab it man we got to go to uh, Target first. We're going to hit up Target first, and then we will hit the other Walmart. I'm still on the fence about the other Walmart because the other Walmart is like in a weird area, and it's kind of across town. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys when we get to the Target, and uh, let's see what we find. All right, guys, let's see what we got here at Target. Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin. We got a little bit of AEW figures in the house. We got a couple. Oh, my God in heaven. So we got two. We got Jake Hager and Chris Jericho. No chase variants it looks like but jake hager and chris jericho we got some top talents oh we got a little scott hall legends got a lot of those jesus got a ton of those elite 84 rhea ripley ray mysterio john cena another scott hall ton of that figure for some reason i'm probably gonna grab this this ultimate edition stone cold steve Austin for sure i don't think i need the jericho and hager but uh taking a look at the scott hall I don't know when I'll grab this. Since, since there's so many, I'm not going to grab it today just because I think I, you know, I'll be all right. But Drew McIntyre, Rey Mysterio, Roman Reigns, the poor China, man. The China just rots here, man. I don't know if they'll ever get rid of those. But, I mean, they got a, they got a decent little selection here. But I think that pretty much wraps up our target run. All right, guys, now we are at Walmart. And holy Rey Mysterio basic. Look at all the, oh, look at the terrible Apollo Crews. There's the terrible head skull. They have a million of these Silver Surfer Rey Mysterios. I remember when we made a whole video about this about this thing, but we got uh, Bailey in the house. Bailey, more Bailey, more Rey Mysterio, Roman Reigns, Bailey. I don't see any of the cane for some reason. I saw a little bit of the Apollo Crews, but it looks like they have a ton of the Bailey, a ton of the Roman Reigns, a ton of the Rey Mysterio, but I'm, I'm not seeing any of the cane basic, which is really weird, but they have a ton of those. We got uh, ooh Scarlet Bordo. Is that the is that the uh, the Chase variant Scarlet right there? Two of those. Little Pete Dunn action. Elite 81. Angelo Dawkins all beat up. You got the Rock back there. Montez Ford. Roman Reigns. We got Bianca Belair. For some reason we got like a restock on Elite 81. The Elite 81 Shinsuke. Mae Young's all beat to hell. Shinsuke Nakamura Chase figure. We got Elite 85 Becky Lynch. So we have like four different waves here. A ton of battle packs for Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins. We got the AEW toy belt. More of the of the two pack right there. We got uh, a little bit of an elite right here. What is what do we got going on right there? Sorry about that. My phone cut out. But we got Elite 86 Miz in the house. We got an Elite 81 Rock again. That's the second one of those. We do have a figure back here. It is the Ultimate Edition Edge just hiding out. So somebody hiding the Ultimate Edition Edge for some reason. Not sure why they would do that, but we have the Ultimate Edition Edge right here. We got, uh, yeah, I mean, dude, I can't, I can't find that Kane Basic, dude. I cannot find the Kane Basic. There's more Rey Mysterio, more Roman Reigns, more Apollo Crews, more everything, but they do not have the Kane for whatever reason. There's that terrible Edge Basic. We got uh, ooh, a little Carmella action down there, Elite 86 Carmella. But I can't find the Kane basic for whatever reason. And then, like, they don't have a ton of Elite selection, but they do have a lot of figures. There's a ton of figures here, but that poor Rey Mysterio, there's like 162 of them. But that is it for the Walmart. 
All right, guys, we have made it back to the house after the toy hunt. Very interesting development, I would say, after uh, all of the places we went. Now, I did grab a few things. I didn't grab anything from the Walmart. There was some decent selection. We'll get into the selection that there was, but the only figure that I grabbed for myself was the Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't know if you guys can see back there, but I actually have two of them mock already up there, but this one's actually in better condition than those two that I got. Those two I got from Ringside Collectibles. They were, uh, they have, like, one of them has like a, a, a wrinkle down the spine the other one has like a really big wrinkle on the back so I don't know if I still want, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I may keep this one mock open, the other two. I don't know exactly what I'm thinking there, but I did want to grab this because uh, those other two had some problems with it. I may open those two, keep this one mock. I don't know. I'm still kind of playing around with it and experimenting with it. But I also did grab the Jake Hager and the Chris Jericho from Series 6 of AEW. The reason that I grabbed those is because my boy Jonathan was uh, looking for those. Those are the last two in the set that he did not have mock. I don't even have any of Series 6 mock. I don't really know. It's like I keep finding them mock at retail and then saying, eh, and changing my mind and not buying them. So, I don't know. I got to get back on the mock kick for the AEW figures, but I did grab the Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, great head sculpts on the guy. The arms are a little bit skinny, but what are you going to do? You know, I guess I'm just going to have to play around with that, but I don't know what I'll do with that one just yet. But finding those the figures at retail, I thought Target was pretty crazy. You know, the Scott Hall, there was like 76 Scott Halls. Did not expect to see those. I know that Kevin Kevin Nash is hitting retail as well right now. Did not see a Kevin Nash, of course, as you guys saw. The Walmart area, though, how many freaking basics did they have? They had like 76 of those Rey Mysterios, the silver one. They had the ugly Apollo Crews. I did, I, I think, um, I think in the clip, I don't think we showed off the cane, but I ended up finding one cane on top of the rack, like tucked away, and it was only one cane out of like all those figures. So you guys know they had the Bailey, the Rey Mysterio, the, the Roman Reigns, the Apollo Crews. They had none of the cane. They had one. Sp they had one cane. One cane out of all of those basics. They had uh, the SummerSlam wave, of course, and there was like 76 rays. All those Roman Reigns. But I found it weird that I could only find one cane, unless somebody came and just bought all the canes. I don't know what the deal is there. However, uh, you guys saw that there were there was pretty stacked amount of figures, and there was a ton of battle packs. There was like 80 of the Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre. They had some of the Matt Riddle and the AJ Styles. Uh, not a ton of elites at that select collection but uh, they did have a bunch of other things but it's kind of weird the last two toy hunts we've been on the stores have been pretty daggum stacked like I said in the beginning of the video it seems like we're just kind of on like a good trend here where we're finding a lot more at retail which is good for not only you guys for the toy hunt videos but it's also good for me just to see stuff and things like that and I can actually buy and purchase and maybe that's why they're selling is because they actually have stuff on the shelves for people to buy I, I don't know but what makes me sick is the other Walmart that we were talking about the one that we ended up not going to Jonathan actually went there and he sent me a photo Brad and look what they freaking had they had unmatched series one now to be fair they only had one set However, if I had went there, I would have found them before him, and then I would have got first pickings, but I think he ended up buying all of them except for Darby Allen and LJ and Cody, so, you know, it is what it is, and he can have them, you know, I already have a set of those, and I've found those at retail before, but it would have been really cool to get those in the toy hunt. I know we found those a couple weeks ago or whatever it was at, on that one toy hunt, but it still would have been really sick to see and find the unmatched series figures, so we're still on the lookout for those. They only had one set. He said they had some other things there, but only one set of the unmatched and that Walmart that that we're talking about is the one that had all of AEW Series 5 they had all of those Elite 86 figures and they had all those basics the last time so I figured if I went there it'd probably be a lot of the same stuff which is why I didn't go there this time because there was so much at retail that time that uh, there's no way they've already sold all those figures so I figured it's gonna be the same stuff so I figured hold off on that and then what do they get Brad they get the unmatched series so there you go Brad sometimes it's worth driving across town checking out what they have anyway just in case for the toy hunt sake also i know some people that will go to the same store like every single day like it doesn't even matter what they had the day before they will literally go to the same place and i'm sure some of you guys are like that as well and i'm like that to a certain degree but i'm not gonna drive across town every single day for the thing so i don't know man but overall pretty successful toy hunt i got my ultimate edition stone cold steve austin again don't know if i'll keep it mock or not what do you guys think should i keep it mock with the rest of them should i keep that one mock open the other two 
let me know down in the comment section below but i think that is going to wrap up our toy hunt video thank you guys so very much for watching got to get back to the daily upload grind so i appreciate you guys sticking by thank you guys so very much for watching that is going to do it for today's toy hunt video but thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter and tiktok at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like i did when i didn't drive across town to the other walmart and find the unmatched series you cross